In our 23rd year, uh, Chamber Music Amarillo had the great opportunity to merge with the Amarillo Symphony, uh, which is a historic moment for us. And we are so grateful for this opportunity because we know that the Amarillo Symphony will carry our brand as wonderful stewards into the future. So what makes us different from a symphony experience is the fact that we are very close in proximity. Uh, that is, the audience and the musicians are very close. And so as a result, the experience is much more personal. You have a chance to instantly uh, be absorbed into the music, uh, into the energy that's coming from not only the musicians, but the audience. And I think that close proximity is critical to that experience. It's, it's a really uh, moving, almost transcendental experience. So we bring to you a very special performance of the Bach First Cello Suite performed by Jeffrey Lestraps, who is a wonderful cellist, longtime friend of mine, originally hailing from Baton Rouge, but now living just down the road in Lubbock, where he's on faculty at Texas Tech University. This is the world famous and much loved Bach First Cello Suite. Bach wrote six of these suites for solo cello, and each one is more beautiful than the last, and they uh, have a beautiful prelude, uh, and then five dance movements. I've played this suite since I was 16, and uh, I've probably played it hundreds of times. Uh, because it's solo cello, just one person, it can go almost anywhere. It can be played in a coffee shop, or a nightclub, or a church, or a chamber music society, or a large concert hall, or someone's living room. It's very versatile that way. It's a fun thing to think about, but my uh, cello is from 1684, from Cremona, Italy, Francesco Ruggeri. And uh, Bach was born in 1685, so this cello is one year older than Bach. And I like to imagine that Bach maybe heard this cello at some point. This happens to be about the 300th anniversary. We're not quite sure when he wrote them, but we know that it was sometime between around 1720. These pieces have lasted all that time, 300 years, uh, never gotten old, uh, always feel new. Every time we practice them and perform them as cellist, it keeps in re reinventing itself. Uh, and new problems and new challenges, new successes, new failures all creep in over time and it's a lifelong journey studying and performing these box suites.
Thank you. 
Thank you. 